Welcome to our segment called Sound People. As dentists, we've enjoyed helping people improve their oral health. And after 23 years of practicing, one of the greatest joys that I have had is hearing the beautiful stories of people right here in the Puget Sound. We've worked on grandparents, parents, children. children. Yeah, it's, it's multi-generational and that's one of the things I really enjoy about dentistry is we get to walk that path of life with, with our patients and enjoy the celebrations, the births of their children, graduations, retirement parties, anniversaries. Uh, it's, it's a really wonderful part of dentistry. Yeah, and at the same time, we've gone through tragedies with yeah. them and the loss of a loved one or the loss of one of our patients or a child, sometimes yeah. tragic, almost unspeakable events. Mm -hmm. In all of it, we have observed the triumph of the human spirit. This segment is the opportunity for us to share with our Light Dental Studios families the powerful and amazing stories of people here in the South Puget Sound. Welcome to Sound People. I'm Dr. Steve Broughton, this is Dr. Angie Dunn, and we're here today with Laura and Earl. And we met during the pandemic of coronavirus That's and right. stay-at-home order. And Earl had a little tooth ache when we were open for an emergency. But the thing that I loved about that visit is that we got on to talking a little bit about your story. So, And you said that you'd be willing to share it, and I'm just so glad that you've come in to, to let our, our our community here at Light Dental Studios hear it. So I, I was just going to start and just go back a little bit, but can you take me back to where you grew up? And I know you had said it was just a school a block and a half from here. And okay. Just talk to me a little bit about how Well, you I grew up in Puyallup. Uh, my mother bought her first house by where the Good Samaritan Hospital is right now oh. for $850. And then when my father passed away when I was in the second grade, then she remarried and we moved to Tacoma. And we lived there in a couple different houses. And then we finally moved back to Puyallup and my mother bought a chicken farm oh, up, on, up on the hill above Woodland on 94th. Yeah. And so then that's when I started going to Woodland School. Mm -hmm. And then I met Earl in the seventh grade. Wow. Or eighth grade, excuse me, when uh, I was running the Woodland Flash, which was a school newspaper. And uh, I had to teach him how to run the mimeograph because he was in the seventh I'll grade. The seventh grade, I was going to take it over. Yeah. So and it was a school yeah. right over here. Right over here. a block and yeah. a half away. Right. Yes. And then you live today very close as well. Yes, we live on We're still old. on Cherry Street. I think a lot of little girls when we grow up, we, we dream of finding a husband and living our entire life with our husband, and you guys met at such a young age. Do you want to share a little bit about the romance? How did it start? Who who had interest in who, and how did that develop? Well, I had interest in Laura. Yeah. So. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> My mother had an other gal picked out for me, but... Uh, no, I, I enjoyed Laura's uh, uh, mannerism and and, uh, and family and, and uh, fellowship. So we, we grew up together in the church, so to speak, in the youth activity and so forth. And Can I hear the story of the locket? Because it's something that you've had so much of your life. It's clearly something important. I, I'm curious what's inside. I was uh, babysitting a family's children one night and yeah. Earl come over and and it was just right down here off of Fruitland and he came over and and uh, we were sitting there and he says I have something for you and he was getting ready to leave and uh, he pulled out this little locket okay. and uh, then he gave me my first kiss oh, that's, yeah, that's very special which was Life just went on from there. Aww. Yeah, so it has a really special <laughs> meaning and, really <laughs> and a memory <laughs> for you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was in May of 
of 53. And then when did you get married? October 8th, 1955. I was out of school okay. a year and yeah. a half. Hey, Earl was out of school we a year. We were 20. Yeah, we yeah. were 20. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were driving home. Yeah, from somewhere, yes. On Cherry Street. Yeah. Stopped the road, and we were looking at the mountain, and I proposed. And handed her over at Brink. Um, what, what, would you have advice that you would give other people about how to stay together? Or Not why? go to bed mad. Yeah. I mean, solve your problem. If you have a problem, solve it. Be yeah. willing to accept whatever comes your way. Don't get too stuck in one little path. That That's right. That Be open to that you can't make move. Just, yeah. Right. It's a two-way street in the activities of, of marriage and relationship. Thank you again for your beautiful story and thank you uh, Earl and Laura for sharing with all of us and I, I've taken so much away just from getting to know you a bit and um, it warms my heart when I hear people and they, I take things away and it improves. It, the beautiful thing about stories is it improves all of our lives and it helps us see the world, the world sometimes through the eyes of another person and expands the way that we view it as well and I just appreciate the time that you've shared with me and the wonderful marriage that you've had together and yeah we wanted the opportunity to be able to share that with our Lightdale students community. Okay. Thank you. Thank you guys. Yeah. Nice to be here. Yeah. We hope that you enjoyed the story of Laura and Earl. While we were filming you could clearly see the love that had developed between them over 65 years of marriage. With our company, I often use the institution of marriage as a metaphor for work life. We've had the good fortune of having employees who have worked here with our company for their entire careers. There's an extraordinary bond that develops between people who walk through life together. Thank you, Laura and Earl, for the beautiful example that you set for all of us.